how is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. In today's tutorial, Dave's going to show you the new transcription feature in Premiere Pro 2021. Dave, the floor is yours. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys the new transcription feature within Premiere Pro. I applied for it a few months ago, I managed to get access to it, so I've been using it for a couple of months. So I want to show you guys the pros and cons and a few glitches, but mainly how amazing it is and how much it's going to save me time. So let's jump straight into Premiere. Right here in Premiere, I've chosen some footage I'm going to work with. This is some footage off an upcoming video where I just kind of go A to Z on how to make a audio and a video podcast. So I've chosen a segment off that. So I've got my segment right here. I'm going to drag it in to our sequence. And then I've got the audio separate. So I'm going to put the audio in there and right click and synchronize, press OK. And that synchronized that. I'm just gonna cut the segment that I need for this. So everything's nicely organized. I'll mute the camera audio, but I'm gonna keep the audio coming from his microphone. So this is what I've got. I wanna start doing mini docs for the YouTube channel. This is my dream project, right? Like some people would say like, I wanna do a short film, I wanna do this. So we'll go up to the window. If you've got access to the transcription service, this option should be available to you called text. So we're gonna click on text. Now, this window comes up and we're gonna transcribe the sequence and it's gonna tell me what the sequence is, how long the sequence is. And we've got a few options here. Say you wanna just transcribe audio one like everything, say you've got all your uh, narration on audio one, you can just tell it to focus on audio one if you wanna keep it organized so it's not getting confused with other elements or other sounds. So that's a nice way to organize that. I'm just gonna select mix because I haven't got anything else going on. So I'm gonna press tr transcribe. So it takes a minute to transcribe the audio. Okay, so here we go. So it's transcribed everything we need. And this is the cool thing, when you press play, it tracks every word. So this is amazingly accurate. That's what I've found. And this is the great thing about this. I fed this audio with uh, people with very different accents, English, American, all sorts. And it tracks really well, transcribes really well. So let's go through this example here. I'm gonna start doing mini docs for the YouTube channel. This is my dream project, right? Like some people would say like, I wanna do a short film, I wanna do this. I would love to do, um, I did this cool, uh, I've done a mini doc like every, like twice a year for a little bit. So that's great, it tracks everything. If you wanted to go in and edit the text, cause obviously this is not perfect, you can just double click and edit whatever you need. So I might double click on this one right here. What I like to do is just space these out. It doesn't make any difference in the final subtitles, but what I like to do is just keep everything organized so I can see everything straight away. Now, the first issue I've had with this is that once you double click, I've got one of these mice right here where you can scroll. It doesn't allow you to scroll down the text. So what you have to do is select and move down to what you wanna change. Say I'm happy with this text. What I'm gonna do is create the caption and you're presented with these options right here. So I keep it on subtitle. You've got teletext, you've got different formats. I just keep it on subtitle and then style. Now this right here, I've created a few styles, but are they not showing up? So that might be a glitch. This is the option I select, create from sequence transcript. Obviously it's gonna take this text and create a transcript. So select that. And just like that, you've got all your subtitles nicely organized in this sub right here. So guys, I've been editing for 15 years and I'll be the first to say that I do use templates like the ones here to save some time. Millions of video creators like you and me do this, but unfortunately it can get really expensive, especially when you're talking about $50 for a one-off license. Now guys, from video editor to video editor, what if I told you I could get you access to unlimited downloads and usage of a massive library of quality digital products that can be used in personal and commercial projects and it would only cost you $9. I'm talking about title packs, transition packs, effects packs, motion graphics packs, stock footage, social media packs, lower thirds packs, basically any digital product you could ever dream of having. Sounds great, right? Well, with this special offer to the Envato Elements Library, you can get complete access for only $9. Click on the link in the description to take advantage of this deal. Now let's get back to the video. Before 
it would come up as a separate track and even doing this this right here caused me so much trouble in the old version just extending these because obviously for some reason transcriptions don't fill those gaps so that'd be nice to have that option to just kind of fill all those gaps and just like that i've done that in the previous version you try to extend the tracks and then it accidentally select them and move the whole thing across it was a nightmare this is nice and easy to see if i was to change the style and the font and the color and all that kind of stuff what you need to do is select everything and right here it tells you that multiple items have been selected track style again i don't know why my track styles aren't showing up i'm pretty sure it's a glitch because i've created some styles but regardless i'm gonna go in and change the font we'll go with helvetica bold and this right here this is what i love because these are all features we've seen before with titles and stuff this is what i love click of a button i can make them all caps this has been so annoying because before what you'd have to do is go into the subtitle folder and open text edit select everything make them all caps that was the easiest way of doing it if you wanted to do it within premiere you'd have to select everything right click and then you know make them all uppercase this right here just a click of a button this is what it should be like and then you can just change the styles you can change whatever you want so that is a great feature a great addition to this version these are some of the options you've got you can create you can tell it where you want the text so this is great for instagram posts yeah it's just a lot easier click of a button you can tell it where to go you got these appearance options right here you got the fill you can tell exactly what color you want the text to be you can create a stroke which these are great if you want to, your text to pop you can make shadows you can make, create a background which i use quite a lot actually just to make your text pop so let's keep it like that i like that now the one thing i found a bit annoying about this is that although right here you can change the position of the text you'd expect the text to be able obviously you can take it you know up and down and whatnot but it won't go below that place right there so if i want the text to go any lower it just won't go and that's a bit annoying because if you're doing an instagram post sometimes you'll have something framed and you want the text to go below what you framed that doesn't let you do that for some reason so that'd be great to be able to have the text go below a certain point or just have it wherever you want really one thing that would be great to have is to choose how many characters you can have per line. I use some other transcription services I use. They ask you how many characters you want per line. Now, this one right here, that's not really an option. So that would be something nice to see. Actually be able to choose how many characters you have per line. Another thing is I kind of wish you could edit these. I can't take that piece of text and drag it. I can drag it across like obviously as a subtitle but it would be great if i could make that a title why because the text right here i can't fade it out so there's no way of applying the default transition i can't fade that text out also you can't animate the text so it'd be great to be able to animate the text to like you know uh, create some keyframes that's something you can't do so it's kind of a hybrid what we've done is we've gone from the traditional subtitles to something that's kind of like a graphic, like a title that we've had before, something in between. So still a lot better than what we had before. So that's the new transcription service by Adobe. This is the new feature within Premiere Pro. It's amazing. It's gonna save me so much time. It's gonna allow me to just do everything within Premiere Pro and not having to use another program to transcribe and then drag the, the SRT file back in. There are some glitches here and there that I think they're gonna correct. The fact that I can, do so much of it within premiere is a game changer and it's great especially when i'm working on social media content where they want subtitles i can just create the subtitles within premiere change the style change the font do whatever i need to do there are some glitches here and there but overall this is great so highly recommended use it i hope it's going to be free and part of the subscription we already pay for if you got any questions drop them in the comments till next time peace